Oops. Hello. Um. Oop, hi, Em. Okay, it, it is one o'clock actually. I'm just waiting for a couple people. I'll wait for a couple people to, to come on. Happy Wednesday. Okay, some people are joining. Piper, do you wanna come say hi? No. No, okay. If people are just joining, so I'm just waiting a minute. Um, and if you don't have your stuff, you can get it. I did forget to tell you to bring a ruler again. Um, you don't need it, but we can use it, or you can use the uh, um, a book or a folder like we did last time, or anything straight. Um, all right, I am gonna I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna get started. Okay. Hi. Oh, let's say hi. We'll say hi to everybody. I see Charlie. I see Jack and Justin, Dylan and Seth, my cousin Amy. And then I see um, just one says hello, CDP98. It's hard to know who everybody is here. Grayson and Taylor Palizzi, Matthew and Lindsay. Yay. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for watching it. It, it gives me pleasure too. I feel like I'm interacting. I miss everybody so much. Mrs. Cleary. And let's see, Storm is here, and the Jaleels are here. Julia Misrahi is here. I see Ali G Dancer, maybe that's Alyssa? Not sure. Rayellos, um, Sophia Ragone, Isabel Paju, Clementine, Bailey, Chloe, Mrs. Magna, Juliana, her daughter is here. Sebastian and Grayson, all right, cool. Okay, so I don't want to, and Julia from first grade is here with her sister Emily who graduated from Coolidge already. Yeah, it's Alyssa, okay. All right, Matthew and Samuel, Lily and Kyle. Wow, there's a lot of you here. All right, fun. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around and um, I'm gonna get started, okay? All right, so let's make sure we can see this okay. All right, I think we're good here. Oops. I'm just gonna turn on my other Instagram. So I got my paper, my pencil, my eraser. That's what we're gonna start with. Um, we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna do pretty much what we did last week, but this time we're gonna use bubble uh, or box letters, which I have taught. Um, uh, I, it's your, you wanna take your dress off? Piper. You can. Um, bubble or box letters, which I've taught a lot of you to do. Um, so we will just uh, kind of review that and I'll show you how to do that um, and then turn them into a 3D shape. Okay, so in the middle of the paper, um, you'll kind of just know where the middle is and know how long your name is gonna be. I'm gonna do the letter, um, I'm gonna do the word art because it has a lot of good letters in it. So I'm going to use all capital letters and I'm going to write, make sure I space the letters out. So I'm gonna start with my A. I know the R is in the middle, there's the A, there's the T, I'm kind of laying it out. So I'm gonna go my A, and I wanna make it roomy and kind of big. So I hope you can see that. You don't wanna to draw too dark because you're going to be erasing this. So now I would leave a good amount of space, like a whole finger here, and then make your next letter, maybe even two fingers really and just make very neat and clear letters. And then another space. I am gonna have to shut my notifications off here. So now we're going to outline the letters. We're gonna stay about a finger away or so, or about a pencil away. Sometimes I tell everyone. So we're never touching the original line. We're always staying away from it, uh, that same distance, about a finger, about a pencil. <clears throat> Go straight across to the other side until it's about a finger or a pencil away. Go straight down and 
straight across the bottom, mm -hmm. never touching your original line. So it's almost like this line is a car on the road and you don't want to get too close to the side of that road. This is a great, easy way to make box letters or bubble letters, or really once you get good at this, you can make, you can use any kind of font that you want. So you can change up your font, make it fancy. And I'm gonna keep going here, so I'm gonna do the rest. Oh no, that's the other thing. So I'm going to just keep them consistent. Oops, I, I probably went a little closer to that one than I would have liked to, but that's okay. I got to find it. Yeah. Okay, and then they always do the inside. So on each side of your original letter, you always have to line the around it. And then the T is really easy because you just go all the way around and... Don't stop. I didn't found this. I found this. I found these. I, I found. Wait, wait. Okay. The I'm done with that step. So I can now erase the inside of my lines. And if you did it nice and light, this should be pretty easy. Another flower when I found that day. I gotta keep looking for it. I got to come support. I'm gonna check in the ocean. Look, okay. first I got So while I'm erasing, I can see um, some other people that have joined. I see Mrs. Mitchell, um, and then I see a bunch of screen names. I'm not sure who it is. And some of you might have longer names than others, so I can just wait another minute. But you can always, afterwards, I'll post this um, onto YouTube, and I'm pretty sure Mr. Famularo shares it, and I post it onto the Google Classrooms, so you can access it that way. So next, I'm going to make my vanishing point back here. I want to make it pretty high. Oh, not too high, though. So there's my vanishing point, just like we did the last time. And now I'm gonna connect the points to the vanishing point. Okay, so just connect all those points to the vanishing point. I'm gonna stop that one there because it intersects with the R, so I'm gonna be using that later. Now, I might Grandma. see this one here. Um. There's that one. I would not see anything here it goes behind it. And I might see a little something right inside that A too. And it's just gonna go from there to there. So you're gonna continue connecting these to that X. Okay, and then the curve is a little tricky, but, oh, and so the curve is a little tricky. Um, just connecting it there to the furthest part of the curve and going straight up. Okay, and this one, hmm, I don't even know if we'll be able to see that. Let's see, we'll go to the edge of the R, and yep, we'll see a little bit of it, so it'll go up like that. This part, we won't see. We won't see anything inside there. Um, the last part is the T for me. So this might take some of you a little bit longer and some of you be a little bit faster. This is really the only part you're going to have to follow me for. Um, the rest is going to be just kind of designing and decorating it. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now, the last time I did this, I left, I, I 
kind of chopped them off and ended them. This time I'm gonna leave them going straight up to that X, but I'm gonna kind of erase that X. But it can just be like one point that they're coming from. So, um, now you can decide what you want your design to be. So you can make anything you want. I already finished one because I knew it would take me really long to color this um, with what I wanted to do. So I made um, a background of rainbows, so I'll show you that. So here's the one I finished. It does look a little bit different. My finished one. So I just did a rainbow in the background. I kept this simple. I used marker here crayon here. Again, I only have Piper's supplies that I'm working with, so there's not much here. Um, and it's the, I kind of shaded the pencil and the, um, oh, you could do pencil there too, actually. That would work, but I used a gray crayon and I made it a little bit darker on the inside and a little lighter on the top and just made a rainbow behind it. So you can do whatever you want to yours. Um, and so while you're coloring this, I'm gonna show you one more thing you could do with this same idea, the vanishing point. So I'm just gonna keep that really simple though. So if you wanted to, you could do a city street. I had mentioned that the last time. So if I do this, there's our vanishing point. And then here's our Now I can make some smaller buildings, like here. So you could add as much detail as you want to this street. And then this will look like a road kind of coming at us. So these would get bigger. You can do this with this too. And then as things come closer to you, they are more spread apart and they're bigger. That's how we show space. So here's our little divides in our street, our street. And there's our street going back. Come with me, Grandma. Now Erase this again, and you can kind of draw this any way you want if you want to make mountains in your background.
and you can make other buildings here. If you wanted to try making the sides of the buildings, you can still use that vanishing point and it would kind of go behind there. Probably see the top of some of them. Like that. Well, no. That you would need another vanishing point for the tops. But you could probably see some of the sides if there was nothing next to them, like that one. All right. And there you go. There's another example of something you could do. This one I didn't do such a good job on. I didn't practice this one. Um, but this is something else you could do with that vanishing point. And next week, I hope to show you some other things. Maybe, maybe we'll find some stuff around the house and use some things that we can find around our house to do some other kinds of projects.